Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Harvestella, the prologue, um, where we left off, uh, I do just woke up from, um, a, a good days of, uh, getting my hammer, finally, um, and we were awoken through the night, did I wake you? Sorry about that, uh. Is that a book? It's more of a diary than a book. My mom always told me to keep a handwritten record of daily events. I always thought it was silly, but here I am getting s some use out of it. Do you like to reread stuff? Not really. This is the first time I've read over this, actually. I'm confirming who I am and how I lived my life. My diary is probably the only way I can do that now. I must have been pulled here by a rip in the fabric of space-time or something along those lines. If the course of history has changed, then there's a good chance that the future I know no longer exists. But if I have memories of what's written in here, then I'm reaffirming that what I remember is still real. It's a small comfort, knowing I haven't completely altered my memories. Or vanished due to some time paradox. But all that aside, this diary is all the proof that I have that I am who I am. Space-time memory paradoxes. Gotcha. All you need to know is that this diary is something like a compass that'll help me get back to my own time. You do have compasses in this time, right? I want to go home, but if I have no re recollection of where home is, then how would I know which way to go? Anyway, that's enough lecturing for one day. I'm tired. Good night. Five ten. Day five. It's your turn to be the omen this time. The what? Wait, how come you get to decide who who are you? Who are you anyway? Sounds like some people are talking outside. What's an omen? I've heard people talking about those. Are you serious? You don't know? Princess in the Omen? What? You're so behind the times. How can you not know Princess in the Omen? It's so popular. Oh, hey, Stumblebun. How you doing, Stumblebun? Uh, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? We're here to play. Why would they call you Stumblebun? Actually, now that you're here, this is a good chance for me to sneak off unnoticed. Wait, where are you going? I just remembered I have something to do. But don't mind me, your friend here has candy. Candy? There she goes. She was so pretty. What now? Still want to play Princess in the Omen, Van? Forget Princess in the Omen. We're already at Bird's Eye Bray. Let's go to our secret hideout. Oh, yeah. You have a secret hideout? We built it ages ago, even before you came here, Stumblebum. Are you sure about this? It's our secret place. We're not supposed to tell anyone. Well, Stumblebum is our junior, so we've got to be nice and show him around. How is Stumblebum our junior? Well, we came to Bird's Eye Bray first. Doesn't that make us higher ranking? You're right. You're just bursting to see our secret hideout, aren't you, Stumblebum? 
Uh, I might be interested. Maybe. Next up, the secret hideout. But I'd like to check on my plants first. I'd like you guys to stop calling me Stumblebum. Check this out. Here's our secret hideout. Oh. Oh no! Wah! Monster de monsters destroyed it! But what about our treasure? We left it in there. This isn't good. Stumblebum? Leave it to me. Yeah. Thank you, Stumblebum. Avenge us for the secret hideout. You did it. Those monsters are toast. Now to check on the treasure. Wait. Oh, there's more. More of them? That one looks big enough to be their parent. I don't care what they are. Stumble them. Get them. Try out a new skill. Ooh, that's a sidestep. Oh my gosh, yes. I was waiting to, to learn a way to dodge. Hell yeah. Wait, hold. Press. That's that's a hundred percent a sidestep, right? Can I learn it? No. Oh my god, that's what I want. You didn't get hurt. Are you okay? I'm good. That's good. You know, when the parents showed up, I thought we were done for. You're so strong, Stumblebum. Look over there. That's our treasure. It's still in one piece. You should make a new secret hideout. Thank you, Stumblebum. We owe you one. You headed back home with Vaughn and the others. Lucas. Yikes, Chris. Vaughn, and is that you, Vent Milica? What are you doing here? We were, uh... The jig is up. You explain the situation to Cross. I see. A secret hideout. Kids, eh? Look what they dragged you into. You only came to check up on them, and you ended up fighting monsters. I know Stumblebum was so cool. He took down those monsters like it, it was a piece of cake. Van, his name is not Stumblebum. This person has a name, and it's Lucas. Oh, it, it is? Well, Luke, thank you. Thank you. You go around traveling. You're strong. You're just so cool. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. But you know, I'm 
still going to have to march you all home and tell your parents about the hideout you made in Bird's Eye Bray. No! Please, Chris, I'm begging you! Beg all you want. It won't help you now. Ah, Mom's gonna be so mad. I'll take the kids the rest of the way. See you around, Luke. Wait, Chris. Lucas was gonna give us some candy before we go home. Uh, I'll bring it for you next time. Ah, oh, shucks. I'll find a way to get them candy. Alright. My farm. Things are growing. Give me, give me. Bunch of lettuce. Carrots. Break this? this is the question. I probably need a bigger, bigger hammer. missing oh I gotta go get seeds from town forgot about that I'll go see if we can buy a couple Hello. Hey, backpack. Mm, I kind of want it. But I feel like I should use my money on seeds. Buy one new onion. Just so we can plant something. I'm also kind of curious what else I might be able to make. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Like 
Ja. You keeping well? Uh, ooh. Thank God, the mayor is a... G. Holy shit. Alright. That works perfect, then. Let's quickly go see if there's anything we can, anything we can craft. I don't think so, but I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, I figured as much. Had to check at least. I think right now the goal would for us would be to uh I did all this I think right now the goal would be just to um Uh, go get some materials and stuff like that. Materials for the win. Oh. That's kind of annoying. I was trying to go get materials, damn it. There's a sound coming from the other bed. Where the hell is she going? I think that girl went outside. Where could she be going at this time? I should go and check on her. She called that the Red Queen. I don't know what that means. It's already been three days. And I haven't found a single thing. What clues do I have besides that Red Queen over there? What will I do if everyone's already dead? I hope everyone on the research team is doing okay. How could this happen? We still had so much left to learn about the Red Queen. Mom, Dad, will I ever see home again? If I stay here... Get it together, Arya. You can't let this place break you. Oh, we know her name now. You've managed this far, haven't you? You're the only one who can do what needs to be done. And there's still so much left. Who's there? It's you. Were you listening? I didn't mean to eavesdrop. It's fine. 
Would you talk with me a while? Of course. So you haven't had it easy, being all alone like this. I guess. Maybe you just don't care. It's Arya, by the way. Uh, what is... It's my name. You guys have those, right? I figure it couldn't hurt to let you know that much about me, at least. Arya. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Arya and the Red Queen. Day six. Arya's organizing her belongings. Uh, you going on a trip? Yeah, something like that. This may be the last time you and I ever see each other. It's been brief, but thank you. Where are you gonna go? You know that crystal you all call the sea slight? The secret behind what dragged me to this time has to be hiding there. So that's where I'm going. But I want to go with, or can I? Is that possible? I can't just let her go alone. Where'd she go? She went that way. That's what up here. direction she got she went oh left the village all right oh hold on a second it's our livelihood even if it's as dangerous as you say it 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 is we'll be lost without it it may seem extreme but it it's for our own safety. Your mayor has already agreed to be prudent. Mayor, you can't be serious. The order is currently handling the abnormalities occurring in the area surrounding the sea slide. And we cannot promise Lethe won't be affected by the autumn sea slide all the same. That is why we are stopping us from using the monolite completely? What will we do in the meantime? Come to see what all the noise is about. 
Did something happen? More tyranny from the sea slight order. Just, who do they think they are? Ah, of course, you must have no idea what the order is. If the name wasn't already a dead giveaway, they're a religion that worships the sea slight. Excuse me, father? What is it? You say the area surrounding the seaside is changing, but how is it changing? That information is confidential to the Order. That being said, we have already witnessed casualties near the winter seaside at, at the Order's stronghold. Did you say casualties? Yes, the situation is that severe. As you're already aware, a Lux vein connects the Monolite to the Sea Slight, directly to the end. We will be taking control of the mon Monolite until the cause of, this changes, of these changes can be ascertained. But how long could that take? I guess if it's a threat. I like to think things will go back to normal if we leave it alone for a little while. Then again... It's no laughing matter if a priest of the order are getting injured what with all the armor they wear. You should stay away from the sea slide. But Arya... Who's Arya? She what? That girl from... went to the sea slide alone? Hmm? What's all that commotion? Uh, there, nothing. We can't talk here. Let's go somewhere else. I gotta go find her. So the girl... Went to the sea slide looking for something that'll explain why she's stuck in our time. There must be some connection. Didn't it start glowing the moment she landed in that crystal of her own? Uh, what is the sea slide? I think the Order knows, but I've never heard them go into detail about it. My understanding is that the Sea Slight are crystals of light found across the world in one of four colors. But I've never really put much thought into why they're here or what they do. I can say that they're essential to our way of life. Without the Monolite, our lives here w wouldn't be possible. Thinking about it now, that also brings the, into question why we live the way we do. A lot of questions I don't have the answers to. But that priest was wound, wound pretty tight. Something bad must really be going down for the order to be up in arms. That girl, Arya, was it? She's not fully recovered. I don't know why, but her body is extremely fragile. I can't believe she would run off like that, even after I told her she needed to take it easy. But I'm only a doctor. There's nothing I can do. If the Order can't even keep things under control, then what chance do I stand? Don't you go doing anything reckless, understand? You're still recovering, too. I've gotta go. I'll see you later. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do. I hope Arya's okay.
Her books? It's Arya's diary. All you need to know is that this diary is something like a compass. Why would she leave this behind? I should give this back to her. You have to find that girl, are you? Cress already told me all about it. She's worried about her too. I'm not here to stand in your way. What you do from here is up to you. But I'm reminded of a man that used to live here who missed his chance to save the life of another. It haunted him every day of his life. But that's a story for another day. This equipment used to belong to him. It's not seeing it any use sitting around, so why don't you take it with you? You received a magic swords ring? Okay. If you want to get there quick, head north when you leave the village. That'll get you there in no time. Thanks, Mayor. Chapter 1. The one from beyond complete. Take the sandwiches for sure. Um, Take the path north from the village, he said. Did he mean on the world map? He might have meant on the world map, but I'm just dumb. <sighs> he did. Okay. Egan Canyon.
An armored figure is kneeling on the ground. That damn guy, to think he is willing to go to such lengths in his madness. I can't let him continue with his plan, but I'm not going to get far with my armor in this condition. The armored figure appears troubled. Help him. Huh. And what do you want? You're offering to help. You do know what I am, right? An omen. And you're still willing to assist me. Suit yourself. As you can see, my armor has been damaged. It appears a piece of it was sent flying somewhere. I think I saw it land somewhere in that direction. Would you mind taking a look for me? You hand over the odd black component. So you found it. Thank you. For a moment there, I thought I was standing at death's door. Or perhaps kneeling would be more apt. Your language still baffles me, but with its idiom and nonsense. Nonetheless, I appreciate your help. I will be sure to repay you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you heading towards the sea slight? That's right. I'm looking for someone. The one you're looking for. She must be that Abel girl who passed by here. The name Abel confuses you. Ah, perhaps it's best I use the term human around you instead. I wasn't able to get a good look at her, and as she went by, my suit was in a state of disrepair, after all. But the silhouette was definitely that of a human girl. She looked to be in something of a panic. It must have been Arya. So you're following that girl toward the sea slight. In that case, why don't we go together? I know you humans look down upon my kind. We who you call the omens. The environment up ahead has grown strange, and I am injured. It would be difficult to proceed alone. Still, you must have some reservations about joining an omen on your journey. I don't really know what an omen is. You have no knowledge of what we are. Interesting. You certainly are an oddity. Moving on. It is in our best interest to cooperate. We will travel together until we reach the Autumn Sea Slight. I suppose now is usually the time where you humans exchange names. Is that right? My name is Dianthus, and you are? Lucas. I have dedicated it to memory. Party member! I'll take it. Hell yeah. Uh, your party members attack automatically. Okay. Now that we have the formalities out of the way, let us proceed. Hostile creatures prowl the area up ahead. It would serve you well to prepare yourself for battle. The monsters look unsettled. Could it be the effects of the sea's light? Oh shit. It's a girl? Okay. I had no idea. Bitch. 
should be on my menu now, right? Oh yeah, look at her. A Lunamancer, Dianthus. See a beautiful majestic waterfall. The mist spraying around it feels cool and refreshing. This would be a nice place to relax and take a break. like that raises uh, stamina that's good to know while we're out here exploring goblins place is beautiful. I'm digging this area. Broken ladder. What are you looking at over there? Uh, fixing it may lead to a shortcut. A ladder. I see. If we repair it, this may serve as a shortcut. I have analyzed its conditions and believe it should not take much time to repair. I will teach you how to repair it. Takes one hour. Cool. Big red and pleasant. Yeah, fuck it. No, damn it. It's fine. I got the sandwiches, so I hope even me out a little bit with this. Um, hey, bitch. I don't think I've ever had a full backpack. Interesting. Oh my god. something unusual up ahead. What is it? Mm -hmm. 
this is pretty. That structure. What is it doing in such a place, perhaps? No. It defies reason. Uh, what's wrong with that building? It should not exist in this space. But there is little use in trying to explain why to a human. Well, rude. What is this? Do my eyes deceive me? Princess, I'm on my way! What? What is the meaning of this? Neither of you are my princess. Nay, you are not but tricksters. Uh, what are you? I beg your pardon, mind your words, you obstreperous imp. Are your puny mortals' eyes unable to see the magnoliousness? Mag Magnoliousness that is my celestial vessel? Uh, you mean the horn? Imp impertinent buffoon! Do not mistake this for any ordinary horn! Oh, to mistake my pure princess for such savages! This might just be the gravest mistake of my life! If such a faux pas were to reach the palace walls, do, do keep this a secret from the royal family, won't you? What a peculiar creature. I didn't know such things could even exist. Huh, so the omen can see there are still things in this world beyond their realm of understanding. Such a ab abhorrently arrogant creatures. You would do well to learn from me, a prime example of unparalleled humanity. Humility. Uh, let's just go, Dianthus. Of course, you're searching for the girl. Let us head deeper into the ravine. Wait just a moment. Do my ears deceive me now, or did you just say you were searching for a girl? Mayhap it was you scoundrels who swept my princess away. Uh. I don't know anything about your princess. There's no use playing dim. My keen eyes have long seen through your nefarious little schemes. Now that I think on it, I have never before heard of a human and an omen join joining forces. How very suspicious, yes, quite dubious in indeed. You will tell me where you have hidden my princess. Refuse and I will unleash the full force of my... Uh, illimitable power. Witness me, you vociferous trolls? Boss fight? Okay. Get back, get back. Oops, I... Okay, I didn't know what move I was about to face there. Clearly I messed that up.
Gotcha, bitch. Hmm, I must say, I am impressed. You forced my hand. I have no choice but to unleash my most dreadful final ability. Salubrious Spear. Witness me. The horned creature fully replenishes its health. What? <laughs> and now it is as though you have laid nary a scratch. Terrifying, no! Utterly stupefying. You're welcome to tremble in my presence. Now for a rematch, and this time you will well tell me where my princess is being kept. Fail to do so and I will heal my wounds again and again as many times as I need to. This, you gotta do something. What do you expect me to do? I know how to handle living things, more or less. But a peculiar creature such as the Peculiar creature! I am a unicorn of the cryptids, you audacious cretin. Very well. Unicorn, was it? Please listen to what we have to say. Would you do the honors? Explain the situation to the unicorn. Hmm, I'm certain this Arya and my princess are not one in the same. Their names are different from for a start. Please forgive my haste, although it is quite some coincidence that we should both be searching for someone. Uh, would you like to come with us? Lucas, are you sure? If you wish to bring them with us, then by all means. Oh, you wish to join me in my search. I've only just arrived at this ravine myself, so I'm not well acquainted with the terrain. Yes, I see no harm until I find my princess, at least. But I will not fight by your side. I promised only ever to use my healing magic for the princess. I have no problem with that. I'm not completely sure I trust it anyway. We wasted enough time. Let's move on. Cold. I kinda like uh the omen. So are they a are they a full race of uh female female characters? You have my gratitude. Cause I really don't know I mean this is the second one we've met and it's a female as well. So I'm like is that the case? What is a Motus Monolite doing here? And of all places, did guys leave it here? But not to look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, what does it do? What it does is allow us to improve our search efficiency considerably. 
You can use this Motus Monolite to travel to another in a different location. I can see your eyes glazing over. Simply put, it will allow you to teleport in instantaneously. Okay. Thank God. I was waiting for, like, these types of things. For them to, like, explain what they were. So I can activate it. And then I can save on it. Finally put in my first save. I feel sleepy. That's not cool. Do I have any other ones unlocked so I can just teleport out of here real quick? Return home. Level four, nice. My backpack. Damn it. Um, nice. Move all. Rusty metal. This, this. Give me my stuff, please. I love where the sandwich delivery constantly helps me out quite a bit. Um, I do want to kind of see if like this meat sells for anything. If I just put a bunch of meat in there, I guess before.
Wait, does it only work like in the area of the place that you were like exploring? I don't understand. So, go here, Cypress Crossing. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I leveled up so much that um, I for sure have these now, right? No, what the hell? I'm close though. What is wrong this time? Uh, can you fix the bridge? Monster. Wait, Luke. That monster has a thicker hide that is more resistant to physical impact than the others we have fought so far. We cannot expect our weapons to be of much use against use against it. But perhaps magic will make light work of it. Hmm. Look this way. You seem perfectly capable of casting magic to me. I am, but Lucas is not. What does this matter? It matters because fighting monsters like that without magic is going to eat up a lot of our time. Or is that okay with you? Ugh, this isn't. Then would you be so gracious as to teach Lucas how to use magic? Me, my magic. Please, Mr. Unicorn. Are you really okay with taking it slow? Very well. This way. Now listen carefully. This is a rare and irredeemable, irredeemably valuable lecture from your esteemed Professor Unicorn. First, I will show you an example. Behold, the splendid demonstration of the magic arts. Now you try. Uh, how am I supposed to do that? Could you not tell by watching? I simply concentrated all of my awareness on my celestial vessels and outfired the magic. This is hopeless. Come now, one mustn't balk at the first hurdle. Now just close your eyes and give it a try. How do you even concentrate awareness?
Lucas. No, what's happening? Unicorn's lecture awakened heightened powers within. Controlling various attributes, taking down foes with magic. You acquired the, the job class, mage. What was that? I do not know either. It would seem the monolite weapon studied unicorn's magic and changed its owner to match. Enough with the labyrinthine elucidation. Speak simply. Lucas is now able to utilize magic after taking your lecture. Is that to say that my lecture worked? But of course it would. Your teacher was none other than the illustrious unicorn. But from the from the look of him, I cannot imagine Lucas made this happen consciously. In which case... Yes, yes, let us not waste any more time. We can defeat that monster now, can we not? Yes. Lucas, this must be very confusing to you, but it means your powers have enhanced. Alright. So I just learned my first job. Uh, job class change. Try it out. Select the job mage. Open the menu and select party. Uh, oh, so I can qu I can equip more than one. Hold. Okay. Oh look, it look, my even my armor changes. That's dope. All right. We did it. I think this battle is best avoided. There's a monster here that's nothing like the others. That is a formidable creature. There's no way we could stand a chance fighting it. It would be it would be best not to get cl too close for risk of provoking it. Uh, but we need to get past it. I understand the hurry, but we must be prudent. For now, the monster has not yet noticed our presence. As long as we keep our distance, we should be able to skirt around position. Uh, we're going to sneak past it? Affirmative. In the event that it does not it does notice us, we must do what we can to escape. If we run far enough away, then it should surely give up chase. Okay. So that's how I know I have to... That's how I know I have to not touch those. When they're all... Goopity shiny, shiny, goopity shiny, with purple goo.
chances of survival are looking precarious. End of battle. All clear. Let the battle commence. I think this battle is best avoided. Let the battle commence. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Run away. Run far away. That's not who we want to deal with. Where are we? Get out of there. Shit. Let the battle commence. At this rate, your chances of survival are looking precarious. You have my gratitude. There. Shoot. End of battle. All clear. Keep an eye catching mushroom at the base of the tree. Sure. A health and stamina boost. I'll take that heal. Ow. Ow. Stop. I need bombs for this.
I think this battle is best avoided. Let the battle commence. Oh god, okay. Uh grab that. Oh. Seat of the Fall Sea Star. We're right here. Um let's throw down a safe. For something unusual up ahead, which usually probably means a boss fight. Oh shit. Aria! Wait. It's a rift. Holy, wow, that's a big boy. I can't let you take this human, Dianthus. I have been ordered to take it to Geist. Did they just come out of the seas, Light? Give Arya back! Heido Lanzer. I'm surprised, Dianthus. I could have sworn I witnessed you fall from the airship not too long ago. And yet here you are being a nuisance despite what grievous impact that landing should have had. Enough. What are you doing here? What it looks like. I came to inspect the recent abnormalities in the sea slight. Step away from it. I wouldn't be surprised if you were the one behind what is happening. And that structure, why is that here? Why indeed, perhaps the sea slide holds some answers. The sea slide, it's... Oh dear, my celestial vessel is beginning to make quite a racket. What does this mean? Honestly, I have a clue. That was faster than I expected. What the hell have you done to the sea slate? What is Geist's plan? We do not need to explain ourselves to the likes of you. Joining hands with a human, I thought better of you, Dianthus. Don't tell me you've forgotten your masters. I suppose I'm just not in as much of a hurry to meet our makers as you are. Like I care, I have orders from guys to eliminate all risks to the plan. If you insist on standing in my way... Then allow me to tear your ghost from its shell, Dianthus. Break gauge. Let's go. You choose to be a hindrance, then you will be removed. Ow. ow. Holy shit. Oh, this is a girl too. Yeah, so they're all girls, right? Ow. Not really. You guys seem pretty strong. I'm trying my best, though. Oh, this is what I wanted. Flashed up. Hell yeah. 
Dude. A slow step. Wait. <laughs> Fuck you. Ow. Dude. The damage these fuckers take. Oh my god, I was out of that. I think I'm dead, honestly. Is strong, man. Oh, do you just move on to the next day after you die? Huh. You're awake. That's a relief. You had me worried. Fuckers, man, are powerful. <laughs> I'll quickly check the, uh, like the general store or something. Who is that? A Conello merchant. Oh, to purchase animals. Cool.
I don't think I can do much, though, animal-wise, because I don't have a lot of money. Quite yet. I'm gonna buy five of these. again. Damn that dude racked our faces. Then you will be removed. You're wasting your time. I suggest Fucking hell, dude. Actually breaking it a lot faster now that I'm a bit, bit more leveled up. What? I ate the food. I straight up ate the food. That's some bullshit. 